Uh, it was a happy day for yeah, just so that's the first text text message that we got was that the school was on lockdown, and then the next text message was saying that there was an active shooter on campus, and what that's what did you do? Well, I tried to go over there to the school, but I just couldn't. They weren't letting anybody through anywhere, and then I got another text message saying to pick up the students at the Civic Center downtown. Did you find out that your, your daughter actually didn't survive? Uh, we didn't find that out until about 10 o'clock at night, I would say, 11, 10, around 10 or 11 o'clock at night. That's when we found out. Uh, they asked us for DNA, and uh, we gave them that, and about an hour later, they confirmed it for us. And your two sons here, she was the youngest of three? Yes. Uh, we talked to the people there at the funeral home, and uh, they, you know, they said they provide custom caskets if we if we want. Everything's paid for, um, uh, so we might do that. <laughs> you know, put whatever her favorite things are on there. They said they can do that. So. She's so free of life. Like she was so full of love. She always help. <sighs> I mean. How, how fast can you act? I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how much of a difference it would have made. You know, if you know, maybe they could have acted faster. Uh, it remains to be seen. Like I said, everything, you know, as the day goes by, we get more and more information. So. Yeah, she was excited for the summer. We were going to go to the zoo and maybe travel to Illinois to meet, to, to see some family and stuff. But obviously, um, you know, after what happened, it's just, it just, it just, it's not going to happen now. This was last year. I think it was last year. I think it was last year. So she was, uh, she was 10. Yeah. When was she going? Uh, it's going to be hard, yeah, but we have each other. Yeah. Yeah. And we've got a, we've got a great support system, yeah. so we're just gonna lean on that, yeah, you know, as best we can. I mean, nothing's gonna. It's always gonna be there, but she's in our hearts, she's in our minds. Yeah. That can't be taken away from us. You just never would have imagined that it would have happened in such a small town like this, and it's just unreal. We're just glad that we gave her the best life we could while she was here. There was never a dull day with her. She was so happy. She was so free of life. She was so happy. She was like positive. She was energetic, energetic, and like, and like she was super nice. She, she wasn't like mean at all. She was so well mannered. She would say thank you. You're welcome. Uh, yes, ma'am. No, sir.